I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Bro Jacks. <laughs> this weekend, we're building a half pipe living room in our house. So we got back to the place, we decided we should sit down, figure out how to build this mini half pipe slash living room. This is gonna be fun. I never yeah. learned how to skateboard, and I, I kinda yeah. wanna learn now. I do too. I don't know how many people start their skateboarding career at uh, the age of 45, but uh, whatever. I think it's a bit of a midlife crisis project for Kevin. I think he wants to recapture some of his youth, really. We're definitely gonna break a wrist, though. So we just got back from the store, we picked up all the lumber and different supplies that I think we're gonna need for our half pipe living room. So to figure out that uh, curve. Mm -hmm. The half pipe seemed fairly intimidating to build with the curvature and all that kind of stuff. But actually when you do it, it's pretty simple. You basically just uh, make a couple curves in some plywood. What's going on here is we're just using a, a string line to uh, draw an arc. And this is gonna give us our nice, uh, basically arc that you'll drop down into. I'm gonna put this up on the sawhorses, get the jigsaw and cut it out that way. Sure. We cut out one of these side pieces. So they're basically gonna be the end rails to your quarter pipe. We made one, now we're gonna make three more. Start putting the ribs on? Yep. Okay. Those are your end pieces, and then it's just stringers going across with two by four. With adding a half pipe to this space, we're definitely infusing it with a little bit of youthful energy. There's kids cruising by, and you know, everyone's welcome here. Some people use it, some people won't, but I think it's gonna bring joy to everyone. So for the deck of the mini ramp, we're just using some 3 8 inch plywood. We just took it out and gave it a little soak to make it a little more bendy. We probably could have soaked it for a little longer. We just basically sponge bath it and tried to push it in. And now we're going to start screwing it together. I would say this is probably the trickiest part we've uh, encountered so far. It's pretty high. Grab that other section too. Your weight, my carpenter skills. Winning combination. <laughs> you ready to drop in? I'll drop in from here. Wasn't so hard. Amazing. <laughs> it feels really cool to get it going, come up, and then go back down. Nice. I'm never gonna obviously have a pro skateboarding career, but to be able to say that I can like skate a little bit in a bowl, I, I'm super down with that. So we're putting this pipe in. Uh, this is basically a rail that uh, you can come up, and apparently what happens is the trucks or the kind of axles of the skateboard will come up and slide along this thing. So we're just notching it out, and then we backed it with a piece of a two by two just to give it some strength, because that part of the half pipe is probably the most worrisome and has to be the strongest. I think this is not flat either, so. Yeah, I was trying to make the rail perfect, but June brought up a good point. Let's face it, we're never grinding on this thing anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> So the half pipe is living room setup worked great. A comfortable place for the sophisticated skateboarder to store their gear and enjoy a nice glass of wine. Cheers. <sighs> what do you think of the new living room? I kind of like it. But then, of course, Kevin had to ruin the moment. Guess what, man? What? You know what? <laughs> it's not time yet. It's time. <laughs> Any uh, last words to Christy? Don't remarry. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of danger in this for us. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite scared. All right, here we go. <laughs> it hurt a bit, but our new half pipe was still super fun. So we kept trying and kept bailing. How stupid can one person be here to keep doing this? Until finally, Andrew pulled it off. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> right on that. <laughs> yeah.